Hypertensive retinopathy means people who are, or patients who are affected with hypertension or uh, blood pressure fluctuations tend to get affected with the retina also. As we are all aware that hypertension can cause vascular blockages in the heart and other body organs including the brain like we can get stroke and all. Similarly, the retina also has blood vessels which, is, which includes arteries and veins. In hypertensive retinopathy, these arteries and veins tend to get occluded and causing visual deterioration and visual loss which can be permanent. So, in hypertensive retinopathy, the both arteries and veins can get occluded. So, if vein gets occluded, it can be either a branch retinal vein occlusion or a central retinal vein occlusion. So, if it is a branch retinal vein occlusion, only a part of the retina will be affected, whereas central retinal vein occlusion means the entire retina tends to get affected. And usually, these vein occlusions will be accompanied by something called as macular edema which means the central part of the retina tends to get swollen up because of the leakage of the fluid. And this can be usually treated with three modes of treatment which can be intravital injections, basically these are retinal injections, retinal lasers which are OPD based procedures and sometimes as a last resort even vitreo retinal surgeries. And now coming back to arterial occlusion, central arti uh, retinal artery occlusion or branch retinal artery occlusions tend to affect the vision more severely than compared to the vein occlusions. And usually this tends to be treated more with the medical management. There is no surgical management for artery occlusions. <music>